Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk about a new coin that's just been listed, and it's called Casper. Now, I covered this nearly two, two months ago when it was going to ICO, and I mentioned that it would be a really big blockchain project for this year. And it's been around since 2018, but they were only releasing their coin now. And as we can see, the price is around about $5. Now, you may look at that and see that it's gone down 80%, but I'll go into why that's not the case. The actually ICO price was pretty much one and a half free two cents, depending on what option you got into. So from that, it has gone up a considerable amount. And I'll go into why this is showing that it's gone down. But it's it's very, very large. As you can see here, the fully diluted market cap says 50 billion. However, just going into what we kind of know what might be the, the circulating market cap, if it is at 4% is what it was assumed to be when it ICO'd, then this fully diluted market cap turns into a market cap of only 2 billion on the basis of the circulating supply at the moment. So that's Casper in terms of the top headline figures. I'm going to go into a little bit of detail as to what it is if you're coming new to this channel and, and to this video. Like I said, I did cover it before in, in a lot more detail in the background and the sort of the technological difference between this and what Ethereum Casper is trying to achieve. And I'll add a link into that. But I just want to go into a bit of detail, tell you what this is. I know a lot of people are quite interested looking at it and saying, well, what is this Casper? Because it seems to be on the radar today because today is when it got listed on a number of exchanges. So let's just kind of go down and have a look at where it is on the exchanges first. Gate, OKX are two of the biggest. I think both of them come into the top 10 in size in terms of size of volume being done. And as we can see, there's a considerable amount of volume that is there at the moment, 180 million, but I think that will continue to grow as well. So as you can see, it's widely available. Now, just going to the price, the reason why it is quite high, like I mentioned, it was at a, between a cent and a half to three cent in the ICO. So going up to $5 is an, a significant gain. But if we just have a look at this, now this is on the basis of an IOU market. So this isn't being sold and you're not able to provide anyone with those. And this was before it was launched today. So on platforms like BitZ, that is where people were trading it on an IOU basis. And on that basis, we saw the price go significantly high, especially in the last few days, because they knew the listing was coming. However, now that there is a, a much larger volume and those tokens can now be freely traded, the price has come down. However, that, like I mentioned, is from the IOU, IOU market. The real representation is where it is today from the ICO price. So let's just go a little bit into what this project does, what it's about. And this this is a link that I mentioned when I covered it before. And please do watch this if you're interested in a bit more detail about it. But let's just have a look and what they're doing. So it says the first blockchain built for enterprise adoption. Now, a lot of other blockchains have been built for whatever use they may have, and they began to be adopted for enterprises. This Casper, created by Casper Labs, has been created for the purpose of it to be used by enterprises. Now, I'm going to touch upon a bit later and the difference between, like I mentioned, the, the Ethereum Casper aspect and also what this blockchain is. Casper, this is a totally separate blockchain. So it's not Ethereum. And, and you may have heard of that before, but I'll, I'll go into the details of that in, in a little bit. So let's just have a look and see what they are doing. So it mentions here a CBC Casper proof of straight stake. That is the type of Casper that is being used. Ethereum is using a different element to that. Enterprise optimized, like I mentioned. Now, 
this Casper, this project has been around since late 2018, so it's coming up to around about three years, and they have been working very hard to gain those partnerships, and they've been led by an amazing team as well. The one of the co-founders is actually someone who is uh, one of the initial investors in Ethereum, and he has invested in many other projects too, like Tezos, and the list does actually go on. And he's been involved in cryptocurrency for pretty much most part of when it when it started so someone who is very much in the know and they're building up like i said those enterprise relationships the cto is also very impressive as well she has decades of experience in in software and products and so on uh, so it's scalable that is one of the things that obviously is was was one of the the issues with with Ethereum, and it, as it mentions, it's future-proof, predictable gas fees. So the gas fees won't go up and down so much, but also you can buy how much you would need beforehand. So you'd have that put aside for you, exactly that amount for what you have coming up in your business. And, and that obviously makes it a, a big business focus too. So here it mentions the business at the speed of markets, obviously working very, very fast. It's we're going to be working from all, all sorts of organizations from very large enterprises to also startups as well. You can have a look at the various case studies that they have as well. I think it's all very impressive. I'll add the link and it's worth going into the details of that. Like it also mentions here as well, where it says, meet Casper Labs and you can go into the details of who the individuals are, who the executive team is. And this is the individual that I was talking about, M Mirinel Manohar, who's the CEO, who, who's been in the, the blockchain business for, for a while. And this is the CTO as well. So led by a, a great team there. And if we just kind of carry on just going through here, like it mentions, you can have a look at the the exploring Casper and how it works for businesses as well. You'll, you'll be able to see that it is very, very focused on the enterprises. And as you can see, it's no surprise that it is working with a number of partners, a number of investors too. Like I mentioned, I'll add a link and I won't go into too much details of the documentation because it does get very technical and just about what they're doing and how it works. But I do just want to quickly touch upon that as well. And I'll add this as well. This is great from the Binance Academy. And this is what I was mentioning. So years ago, it was decided that there was this Casper solution for an issue that Ethereum had. And one of the solutions was Casper FFG, which was uh, proposed by Vitalik, who was one of the co-founders, Vitalik uh, Buterin. And there was a new idea the Casper CBC, and that's what this this Casper blockchain is based on, which is correct by construction, and that was by an individual called Vlad Zamfir. Now that wasn't adopted, and Vitalik decided to go the FFG way. However, it was then proposed to start a completely new blockchain with that technology because it was deemed to be far superior. Now, what it looks like is Ethereum will eventually go to this solution anyway but what what casper has the actual blockchain is the ability to start off with this straight away what ethereum has as a benefit is ethereum is be, has been around for about six years obviously they have built a number of relationships a number of organizations do use it a number of dApps, and it is one of the most widely used blockchains out there so it does have that advantage however i do believe in the years to come casper will certainly start to, to grow to that sort of size here's another article as well and i just want to kind of touch upon this so vlad zamfir did collaborate with casper labs this was his idea he did collaborate them with them in 2019 however later on that year he did decide to move away from it distance himself he did not continue to work with them so it was continued by the co-founders uh he, he vlad was never one of the co-founders however they did have him on board to collaborate because it was his idea so there you go that is casper hopefully you've got a better understanding for it overall it's a very powerful 
blockchain. It's one which has been around for a while, which has been very focused on building relationships with enterprises. It wants it for enterprise adoption as well. And like I mentioned at the moment, we'll, we'll get an idea of what exactly the market cap is, but if it's any indication of it being around about 2 billion or just under, I do believe this has a lot of way to grow. And we have to take a long-term view on this. Like I said, it's only just listed, but if we have a look at the likes of Cardano, Polkadot, which are around about the, the 40 billion mark, and certainly Polkadot has grown a significant amount since sort of summer last year. It's not even been listed for over a year and we've seen it grow a significant amount. So I think something similar will happen for this. Now, there are a lot of probably people out there who think, well, Casper, it's too expensive. It's already in the billions. I'm not interested in it. I always think it's really good to have a balanced portfolio. And by that, I mean, yes, you know, you can have a look at the, the majority of the coins that I do cover on this channel, like the the small cap coins and the newly created and newly listed coins too. And that has the possibility of going up many X, but it also has a lot of risk too. And I see that on a daily basis. I see so many coins that look to start and they go up, but they do come crashing back down because they just can't get the momentum. This type of coin obviously has the not only the executive team, the, the, the history of three years of working hard at it, it has all of the, the sort of the foundational requirements to carry on building quite a lot on top of it. So I always like to have some of those smaller high risk, the, the medium size coins as well, mid market that have potential to grow and have things coming in the pipe, pipeline. Bakery Shop is a good example of that, that has gone up a significant amount. Again, I covered that. And something that's big as well, like Casper and and if you were unfortunate not to get into the ICO, you didn't know about this beforehand, I still think there's a lot of opportunity. And like I always say, it's worth having a long-term view about these type of coins in the next few years or even longer than that. Obviously, keep an, uh, keep up to date with what's happening with it. But nevertheless, it's got to be a long-term view. The, the, the markets are highly volatile. And we've seen that you know, Ethereum in the last bull run since then, it dropped 90, 95%, but then it came back up and it's been going higher and higher and you know, all time highs are being being created on a regular basis with Ethereum at the moment. So great things, I think, ahead for not just cryptocurrency, but coins like this as well. So there you go. That's Casper. Hopefully you have a better understanding of that, especially if you've just seen it being listed and wondering what this big coin is. The ranking isn't there because the way coin market cap works, well, I mean, ranking isn't there, isn't where it should be in terms of market cap. And that's because they're waiting for uh, the, the actual market cap of the circulating coins to come through. Once it has, it will be appropriately uh, ranked. And I, I imagine this is just going to become more and more available in good time. So there you go. That's Casper. I've been Cal. This is Crypto Crazy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.